These undersea creatures are crazy small. Number 12, Pygmy Seahorse. These are some of the smallest seahorses in the world, standing less than a single inch or about two centimeters high. They were so well camouflaged and so tiny that the first one was only discovered by a scientist as he was dissecting a coral for other research. The scientist, George Bargebont, was in the middle of examining a large soft coral when he noticed tiny seahorses just sitting on the table. He was shocked, but it turned out that they were an undiscovered species. Now that species is known as Bargebont's pygmy seahorse. They live in the South Pacific, from southern Japan all the way to Australia. Funny enough, in these animals, the male actually holds the babies in a tiny pouch in his trunk. They are excellent fathers. Number 11, Irukandji jellyfish. This is the smallest jellyfish in the world. It's also extremely poisonous. They're named after the indigenous Irukandji people of Northern Australia, which is where these jellyfish make their habitat. Of course they're from Australia. Where else would poisonous jellyfish live? There's a syndrome called Irukandji syndrome named after the symptoms that happen if you are unfortunate enough to get stung by one of these monsters. They start with muscle cramps, burning pain on the skin, nausea, and headaches. The toxin is so powerful, it can even cause psychological symptoms like paranoia and anxiety. If left untreated, it can cause brain hemorrhages or heart failure. Its sting has been described as 100 times as potent as that of a cobra and a thousand times stronger than that of a tarantula. Measuring only one centimeter long in adulthood, they are proof that terrifying things come in small packages. Number 10, Dwarf Pygmy Gobi. This tropical species of fish lives in Southeast Asia and it's only half an inch or one centimeter long hanging out around mangrove areas where trees grow in brackish water near coasts, it has become endangered in recent years. It eats plankton and is almost completely transparent. It's not much good for eating, being so small, but it is a well-known fish in the Philippines. In fact, it was put on a 10-cent coin in the Philippines, where it has the distinction of being the only animal to ever get a life-size picture on a coin. Number nine, pea crab. This tiny crustacean is about the size of a dime, unsurprisingly. It's a pretty notable parasite, hiding out in the bodies of larger animals and relying on them for food and shelter. Enough of these monsters in a clam or oyster could really hurt. Good places to find pea crabs are in sea urchins and sand dollars, sea cucumbers, or sea squirts. All types of weird primitive mollusks are vulnerable. And yes, the crabs do reproduce inside the body of their hosts. A male pea crab will start prying at the edge of a shellfish to get in if he thinks there's a female inside. Guess that's how undersea romance works when you're a minuscule crab. Number eight, sexy shrimp. Also called the squat shrimp, or its official name, Thor amboinensis, the sexy shrimp lives on coral reefs in large communities. But the individual creature is only 13 millimeters, or half an inch, long. Despite being so small, it lives all over the world in tropics like the Caribbean, the Indian Ocean, and the Pacific Ocean. Why is it called the sexy shrimp? It walks by swinging its abdomen as it sachets around the sea anemones or coral. This flirty dance is guaranteed to catch the attention of a potential mate or an observant marine photographer. It kind of reminds me of Jacques, the French shrimp from Finding Nemo. Number seven, Pedocypris progenetica. This minuscule fish is less than a single centimeter long. It's one of the world's smallest vertebrates and held the record for a number of years. It lives in swamps and slow moving rivers. Basically, anywhere there is a ton of decaying vegetation. Not a lot is known about this fish other than its size, but it's only found in Indonesia. It might be cute to bag up a few and put them in a miniature aquarium though. I wonder how many could fit in a regular fish tank. Number six, paddle-spined sea star. This is the world's smallest starfish. It's about half a centimeter wide and you need to use a microscope to see how it moves around. Unlike most starfish which have five arms, this tiny guy has six. And it's only found in one spot on Earth, the Southern Australian coast. Like many of these species, it lives in coral reefs, hiding with algae and sponges. It also can reproduce by simply 
chopping itself in two. There is no sexual reproduction among this species. Instead, a grown starfish just tears itself in half, and each three-armed half starfish grows the missing three arms and keeps on doing its thing. How wild is that? Number five, stout infant fish. Another tiny fish that lives off the coast of Australia, this fish is about a third of an inch long, or three quarters of a centimeter. It rivaled the Pedocypris progenetica for the smallest vertebrate title, though both lost out to a tiny tree frog in 2012. Why is it called stout? This fish has a shorter, thicker body than other species in its family, which gives it the distinction of being the shortest, but also makes it look quite squat compared to the lankier cousins in the goby family. Number four, nudibranch. We call them sea slugs, mostly. This family has over 3,000 different species, and some of the smallest are less than four millimeters long. That's less than a quarter of an inch. Nudibranches are soft-bodied mollusks, basically shellfish without the shells, and just kind of scoot around in coral reefs looking for algae and plankton. But there are species all over the world, so you don't have to go to Australia to find some tiny animals. The most iconic tiny nudibranch is called Glaucus atlanticus, or the blue dragon, which is beautiful, but capable of delivering a powerful sting. It floats on the surface of the water using surface tension to hold itself up. They prey on larger creatures like the man o' war, and they steal the poisonous, venomous, stinging cells from their prey to use for their own self-defense. Number three, octopus wolfy. This is the smallest octopus in the world, measuring less than an inch and weighing less than a gram. It lives in the Pacific Ocean, between countries like Australia, Indonesia, and Japan. It's also known as the star sucker pygmy octopus. It was first discovered in 1913 and is the exact opposite of the giant Pacific octopus, which is as large as 600 pounds and 30 feet long. Yes, literally hundreds of thousands of tiny pygmy octopi would not be enough to equal one giant octopus. If you want one of these for your own aquarium, be careful. They're very, very good at getting out, and they're very hard to find once they have escaped, you know, on account of them being so tiny. Number two, dwarf lantern shark. This is one of the smallest species of shark in the world, measuring seven inches or 18 centimeters long. It lives off of South America in the tropical South Caribbean Sea. It's got a long, flat head and lots of teeth, and preys on some of these small fish and slugs that we've already seen. They can live up to 30 years in the wild, but don't hold out hope for putting one in your aquarium. They're very hard to capture. And why is it called a lantern shark? It has light-emitting organs on its stomach, called photophores. These let it blend in with the sunlight from above, so its shadow doesn't alarm its prey down below. And in the deep, dark water of the ocean, can attract unfortunate fish towards it. Sort of like an anglerfish-shark combination. And now for the number one smallest sea creature in the world. But first, don't forget to click thumbs up and hit subscribe and let us know in the comments, which one of these animals would you most want to have in your own aquarium? Number one, pocket shark. These sharks live off the coast of Chile in the Southern Pacific Ocean. They are less than a foot long and have tiny pocket glands behind their pectoral fins. Scientists aren't certain, but they suspect that these glands are used to bioluminesce, just like the dwarf lantern shark. They release chemicals that attract prey and repel predators with a glowing light. You might think that this shark is safe being all the way out in the deep ocean near Chile, but a recent specimen was found in the Gulf of Mexico. If you live in Louisiana, watch out. These tiny sharks could nibble on you if you're not careful. If there's a strange glowing liquid in the water, it might be a sign of this minuscule predator. Wonder what other tiny sea creatures have yet to be discovered.